Hello dear patients, today we are going to review the following clinical case. A young man came to us and in him between glands penis and foreskin white deposit was collected. It was almost absent on glands penis. There was not a lot of it, but according to the young man it had an unpleasant smell. Sometimes there was itch in the area of this deposit collection as you see on the picture. This deposit is white with some inflammation in the area of deposit collection. So culture tests for bacteria were taken, culture tests for fungi from this white deposit. PCR analysis were taken, they included 8 candida fungi from the deposit itself and from inside the canal. Also all analysis were taken for the main sexually transmitted infections. Touch smear was taken from glands penis from microscopy of this deposit. As a result of that, in PCR tests and culture tests, an atypical candida was found or candida tropicalis. This is not rare today. Approximately in every fifth patient with candidosis, we meet atypical candida. In some cases, we meet it more often, particularly if we talk about patients with HIV infection who come to us every now and then. So here it's important to understand that such candida fungi have to be treated in both sexual partners. And that was done. Of course, if there are only two partners. And secondly, they live in mouth as well. So mouth cavity has to be examined and in some cases anus has to be examined if such contacts are observed. Apart from that, the sensitivity of this candida to antifungal medications has to be taken into account, as there is no chance to treat this candidosis only by a magic pill of fluconazole. This has to be treated for quite a long time, at least 10 days. It is often combined with injection form, longidaza and external medications, so only in such cases it's possible to reach normal healing in a couple that has typical candida. What are the features of typical candida, including candida tropicalis? It's quite resistant to treatment, it's very resistant to treatment and there's no magic pill. So for this patient the classic antifungal therapy was done, this is tableted and injection administration of medications. This is external use installations in the urethra. Considering that candidosis is located not only in the area that you see, but around it as well, it is located in urethra as well. If you treat by some magic ointment, then it would go back from urethra, it would get more chronic and less prone to treatment, and in some cases we know failures even if such treatment is used. Even if such treatment is used, still there may be failures. Approximately 10-15% of patients with candida, even if the treatment takes 10-14 days, and even when injection methods are used, they come with relapses, even when there are no sexual contacts at all. If we talk about magic pills, then the failure rate is 90 to 100%. So during a typical candida, you shouldn't even try using only one magic tablet. This particular patient had this therapy and as a result of that in two weeks time we have stopped this therapy and in three days after its end we took control analysis from him and from his constant sexual partner. In this case there was a complete clinical and microbiological healing. If there are any rashes, deposits in the area of sexual organs, then under no circumstances you should use ointments on your own, particularly if you had it for the first time. First you should do correct diagnostics and then the doctor would prescribe the correct treatment to you. If it is necessary to diagnose any rashes in the area of sexual organs, you can consult dermatovenerologists and urologists of our paid medical center of dermatovenerologic dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such rashes. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.